Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in Indiana High School basketball fans. SummerCitySports.com coming to you right here from Southport High School. Romeo Langford, the top player in the state of Indiana. He is must watch TV, no question about it. Lid on the rim right now for Northside, and you cannot leave Romeo Langford in the corner, wide open, triple for Romeo. Rebound, Romeo. Lakeford looking to push. Nice leave. That is a sneaky bounce pass there from Romeo. Lakeford. Romeo gets a screen from Hurricane. Into the paint. Up and one. The New Albany Bulldog, Romeo Lakeford, hangs and hits, and he'll head to the line now for his chance at the three point play. Silky smooth stroke. Romeo went to post up on Johnson. Now they do get him. Romeo, good up fake. Hanks and does get the roll. The kid is just an absolute stud scoring the ball. Can't get it to go off class. Lang can't get it. Hello! My goodness gracious, 24. 25, nine. John East, Romeo Langford, good look down low. Voucher got up off his feet, left his feet, and the easy bucket. People for Northside paid attention to that, well schooled. Time for that black cut in Romeo. So smooth, and the jam. Romeo Langford showing you the skill. Three seconds remaining. Langford. Fade away, he just stepped back, three ball. Are you kidding me? Romeo Langford, give him the Mr. State basketball now. What an outstanding player. And Romeo Langford showing you the skills. Let's take another look at that before we go to break. Beautiful, that's just too nice in the bucket. At that high post, jab step on Langford. Ghost hangs Langford with the swat. Langford, they go far side, Sean East. They're up 16, right elbow jumper from East. That was a 16 point lead. Romeo Langford from the parking lot. Nothing but net for Romeo. Hits another triple. That is his third. He has five points in this third quarter. Make it 18 for the game and a steal. Picks it up, and there he is for the easy two-handed jam. Kid is so special here in the senior class. Langford, it's the first. And hits that one as well. Langford rattles all three, four or four from the charity stripe. Steal by Croft, Romeo. Three people went to him. Romeo hangs and hits. My goodness. Romeo Lakeford, so, so talented. 25 points. Make it 26. Starting to file out with the game over. Dion Brooks showing you how good he is. And then Romeo comes right back, of course. 68-47, six minutes left. Romeo Langford for three. 71 47. Versar is Romeo Langford. Double team, excuse me, comes. Hurricane, teardrop. It's been fouled from deep. You go ahead and just mark these in the book. As Romeo, he now has 10 points. Romeo showing you the handle. Look at that bounce pass. His vision is so underrated. Romeo Langford with an assist. Romeo Langford has been Romeo Langford. And one, Romeo. Two, two, good. The talented senior drops in the finger roll and he'll head to the line for the three point opportunity. Hesitation triple, flares it out to Sean East, got it. Sean East hits another three, and they're eight away from a hundo. 92-57. Romeo. 
and the three ball. Romeo Lakeford, 95, 57, 30 second timeout as they just want to get Romeo off the floor. 95, 57, and he just dropped 40 points as the whole Southport faithful is screaming IU. They are chanting it. Here for Romeo Lankford. No shock there. As the Bloomington faithful want him ever so badly. As Romeo will check out with 40 points. What a talent. And Mr. Basketball, you're looking at him right there, ladies and gentlemen. His vision is next level, and I don't think he gets enough credit for that vision, dropping those bounce passes in tight, tight spaces. Um, tell me a little bit about that and how much he's grown over, over the time that you've seen him in his basketball IQ and his vision. He's really worked on that. You know, he can always come down and take that long bomb three. He can shoot off the dribble. But he's really working on, okay, if there are two or three people running at me, there's got to be some guys open. And, you know, a lot of times we don't want him to pass it even if there's two or three guys on it. So it's a tough thing. Right. I mean, it, it really is. It's, it's a tough balance for right. him to know when to go and when not to go. But I really felt like he saw the whole floor today. He saw left corner from the right side. He saw left uh, elbow from the right side. He saw left block from the right side. And he saw left guard from the right side. He saw everything over here, even though he was ball side. And you're exactly right. He's getting so much better at that. And at the next level, here's going to be the difference. Everybody surrounding him, he's going to have a center who's probably 6'10 or 11, probably. He's going to have power forward, you know, and he's going to get to play with guys like that. And here, you know, he's got a supporting cast and they're wonderful kids and they're great players, but we don't have division one size. Uh, get better. I mean, I feel like I'm the best player in the country, but uh, I just got to come out every single game and prove that like I did, did tonight. I felt like I played real well uh, all around, and I just got to come out every single game and just prove that I'm the best player. Does that add something playing against another top 30 player in the Keon Brooks and his size? What, what does that do for you pregame, into the game? You look, you look like you were into it. Uh, really, I mean, I come, come out every game ready to play, but especially knowing that you got uh, another high-level player, you want to win that matchup, matchup for the night. So really got to get ready for that game. And I felt like me and my team, we came out and was ready for that game. And that's why we were the winning team. Uh, I've, been, I've, I've been getting double team for a while and um, since middle school. And that's the main thing main thing I, I've been like really working on is be able to find my teammates. And that's the main thing I'm always I'm known for. That coach tell me, tells everybody, if like, you move, he's going to find you. And uh, I kind of threw a couple of uh, bad passes. Like I missed Darren one time wide open. but. Really, uh, that's what. The legs. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that was slip on my hand. I know it's bad pass, but um, really, uh, once I if, I if I pass my teammates, they're hitting shots, then they can't double team, double team me no more, and that's why I started getting getting open, getting easier shots throughout the game.